Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. These messages are for you, my Pisces. These can mess, uh, resonate in the next 72 hours or whenever you see this message here, Pisces, okay? Um, what I'm picking up here, there could be a Capricorn that's uh, a little obsessed with you at this time, or they're very codependent, or somebody's trying to get you to join the dark side or something. Um, this is because they're not happy in their relationship, or they have a, um, a turning point. This person possibly has multiple options, okay? Yeah, this could be somebody here that's a, a liar that's in your energy, unknown, enigma, illusion, confusion. You may have unfinished business with this person. Or you feel like something here is meant to be because maybe there's money problems or something here that's going on with like material things, success. Okay, so I feel like somebody's relationship with money is tied to their relationships here with finances and toxic relationship. So money problems, work, material things, and success because somebody is in a in a, in a codependent relationship where there's always misunderstandings, fightings, triggers here. It's tied to your finances. Whoever this is, it don't even have to be you. It could be somebody around you. It's tied to their finances here. Their toxic relationships. So they wonder why they're not growing. They're wondering why things are because they're they're in a toxic relationship. That's not from all. So it's like energy has to watch a lot of tarot readings. Somebody could be watching a shitload of readings. The Page of Swords and the High Priestess. They're trying to get so much information from this reader, from a tarot reader. They're trying to get clarity and information, but then they feel bad or they feel guilty because somebody has clarity that they are the blessing. Maybe you have clarity that you're the blessing, Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles is like right by you. You're the high priestess, the two of swords, and reverse the ace of pentacles. You have clarity that you're the blessing. So you're like, nah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the fuck back. I know I'm the blessing. I know I'm the gift. I know I'm the abundance. That's just what it is. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, North Node, Vedic Astrology, please. Thank you. There's a tower here. Scorpio, Aries, Energy. This is the most important. And there's a tower. So there's a sudden shocking awakening, a breakup here. But whatever this tower is, it's going to hurt a couple people. Yeah, so there's something coming out. It could be about a Scorpio or Aries. And I feel like somebody here is regretting this tower or they regret breaking up with someone. Or maybe the tower doesn't usually mean just a breakup. This could be like some type of foundation that's crumbling here as well. Okay, it could mean a plethora of things depending on the card that's surrounded by the tower. Okay, so let's see. Why is the tower sitting here, though? Let's see. Why the tower here? The four wands. Yeah, this could be somebody's foundation, their marriage, or something here that's crumbling here with an energy. Mm. Maybe somebody could have had an epiphany that, like, damn, like, you're in a commitment, like, this whole time, like. Okay. Oh, we excuse me, y'all. Some burps. I haven't gotten, I, pay, I may possibly wasn't paying attention to spiritual burps. But why the tower with the four of wands? Okay, we have the devil. So the devil was able to come in and kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah, the devil has intervened. The devil is here or somebody is exposing who the devil is. Okay, the devil could be this Capricorn that's coming in to like destroy some shit. Um, Scorpio, Aries, we got the four of wands. This could be somebody here in a, in a community. Why the tower with the devil and the four of wands? What's going on here? Somebody here is like obsessed with destroying something in somebody's life. They're obsessed with causing chaos and wreaking havoc in other people's lives. They are. What's the devil, the tower, and the four of wands? The five of cups. You see what I'm saying? It's like somebody likes being like this and then they go and feel bad. Like, what did I do? The five of cups is here or they be, they start crying over spilled milk. After they done destroyed everybody's life, they go and like try to like cry over spilled milk. What's the five of cups? Yeah, the five of wands. It's like they laugh about causing chaos in somebody's life with the nine of cups and the five of uh, wands or competing. And then they sit and watch on their com uh, computer screen and they see that this energy is like still happy, still joyful, still in the sun. This could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries or whoever. That the energy is like have, have, they have walked away or they have left a situation already. So whatever this is, say like if a Capricorn was trying to destroy your life, it didn't work. 
all right somebody's trying to like get yeah, the devil here they were trying to be like um the devil could have got exposed so maybe you know that this devil could have been like somebody near you somebody around you they're very toxic codependent or they're regretting like doing something what's the devil five of cups tower yeah the queen of queen of pentacles i'm trying to tell you this definitely could be a capricorn or an earth sign that could be obsessed with with destroying your life give me the queen of pentacles the six of wands so this could be somebody that gets a lot of attention for the work that they do or maybe you're collaborating with this person this could be somebody here that's having victory in destroying you pisces and you're giving them it's like you're giving them the ammunition to like hey destroy me <laughs> or i don't know this could be a mother figure a matriarchal figure here why is this queen of why this queen of pentacles here with the six of wands or something here was seen in open and in public here. Yeah, the five of swords that they play in mind games. You dealing with the with the earth sign that's 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 playing you. They playing you with the five of swords. I don't know if you know this, but they they mind fucking you, they playing you, they they being very vindictive and spiteful with envious and evil. Okay. This had to do with some type of victory. It's like they like doing this. Maybe this is like this is how they get attention is like doing a five of swords because it's like they could be watching this fire sign and it's like oh, okay let me watch this fire sign and then i'm gonna see like how i can like play mind games with you or destroy your life or whatever yeah pisces what's the five of swords who is this who is this queen of pentacles that's playing with you They in the two of pentacles. They keep comparing themselves to you. Somebody keeps comparing themselves to you. This could be like hair, body. Okay, like I'm getting something here about like finances. Somebody's comparing themselves to you. Mm -hmm. This could be a Capricorn that's comparing themselves to you, Pisces. They keep wanting to compare themselves to you. Yeah, they keep trying to learn. Like, to see, like, what you're talented in, like, your talents, your gifts with the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Who's your Ace of Cups? Who's your lover? Who are you supposed to be um, partnering up with? Like, who do you really love? Is it really that cancer that, that's a cheater or that, that cancer that, that could be, like, heartbroken? Or who are you holding on to? Like, somebody wants to know. Like, they're trying to get all in your business or or whatever. They're trying to figure out who you're sleeping with or who you're in love with. I feel like they don't know too much about you. So it's like they have to play little mind games or they got to make it seem like they get victory. Um, but how they get victory is by like lying, by stealing. Okay, they really the two of pentacles. This is how they get victory by lying, stealing and being conniving. Okay, this is like what's the five of swords now? The fool, I'm trying to tell you, they take a new they take on risks here with the fool card. This could be an Aquarius. Somebody takes on risks when it comes to like doing five of swords shit, petty shit to people here. And then like afterwards they feel bad because something blows up in their face. Why the four of wands? I'm trying to tell you the justice in reverse. This energy is not taking accountability. This could be for a housing situation. This could be for stability or foundation here. They are very unfair. Very unfair. Libra energy. This person could have Libra placements. And they're coming towards you with a love offer. This is not your person. It's like somebody knows you're waiting on something. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. They know that you're, you're waiting on this Ten of Pentacles Empress. Yeah. This Ten of Pentacles Empress is the person that you're supposed to be building with. This is a Libra Virgo energy. You're supposed to be building with this person. And they know that. Aries energy. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. So somebody's like worried. They're like coming to tell you like, oh no, we're supposed to be together. But I'm getting no. This person is not for you. Your inheritance. Okay. So if you are a masculine Pisces and you're wondering like, where your inheritance lies or how to get like you know it's it's with this empress ten of pentacles and the three of wands this person is planning to come towards you but this is not conducive okay when it comes to like the most high god they don't value this connection this queen of pentacles is all about getting theirs 
and playing mind games with you. They all about getting theirs and leaving and their victory and getting attention. Somebody wants to be seen. They want to be seen as the six of wands here. Okay. All right. So what's next, Pisces? We have the emperor. There you go. You showing up or? Oh, I, why did I say that? We have the emperor. <laughs> You could be dealing with an Aries. I don't know why I said, there you go, you showing up. Okay, so Pisces, you could be this emperor. You could be, you could be a Pisces. And you could have Aries in your chart. I don't know why the emperor showed up. Give me the emperor. So I feel like CEO, okay, everything is fine with this person, with this emperor, or somebody is seeing something that's going to like piss them off and they're like, okay, it's fine. What's the emperor, ten of wands, I mean, uh, ten of swords, something here could be changing or the tables could be turning here. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This could be some type of significant change, but I feel like everything is going to be fine. This could be something happening with your the, the father of your kids. Everything is going to be fine, Pisces. There's no need to worry. I feel like this is a good change. Something is fated to happen in a good way. Maybe it may seem like a, like a roller coaster. This could be like um, maybe you're changing or you're, you're about to be like some type of in a manager position or something like that. Okay, the king of pentacles is feeling betrayed with the ten of swords. So there's an ending here. For whoever this king of pentacles is maybe you're changing something here when it or ending something with a liar a cheater you could be into something with this king of pentacles in reverse because they could be a cheater or they do corrupt things for money or they just have some type of obsession with wealth so it's like with this ten of swords here there's an abrupt ending okay this could be a taurus energy or the tables is turning on this person I feel like in your favor, everything is like switch. If you're coming out in the emperor energy, I feel like these are switching in your favor. It's, it's going like, it's right. You're putting your foot down. You're manager. You're a boss, period. And whoever this king of pentacles is, they just, they could be trying to leech off of you. So I feel like, yeah, the, something ended abruptly. The ten of swords is here. This could be like, somebody here could be cursing themselves or they curse their, what's the, what's the ten of swords and the king of pentacles? You got the king of wands. What are they taking action towards? This Leo energy. This could be a Leo Virgo cuss that could be taking action towards ending some ending something here. Yeah, with the temperance, with the Sagittarius, or something here about divine timing. Maybe you need to wait or you need to be patient. Somebody's taking action towards the Sagittarius. What's going on with the King of Wands and the Temperance? They're taking action on ending something here with this person because they've been trying to steal something or They've been wearing a mask this whole time or somebody's been covering up the fact that they're a liar. What's the seven of swords? Somebody could have been trying to like, I'm seeing like a burglar. Somebody could have been trying to like steal something out of somebody's house as well with the seven of swords. Or they're taking something and they're sneaking away. What's the seven of swords? They, but they get caught. They're not a sword. And they try to like run off in their car fast. I feel like somebody's like, no, nah, go and take that. And they, okay, they have a, a, a accomplice here. They go and they're like, well, go and do this and hurry up and get in the car. And then we could just run off with, yeah. So, so this is like somebody possibly could be leaving something as well. And then they go and like take off and leave. Um, Pisces. Why is the Knight of Swords here with the Seven of Swords? The Magician. I'm seeing somebody's like hurrying up like, but they got caught. Something that they did, they got caught doing something. And it's like they try to like hurry up and run off and run away. Yeah, this could be somebody. This could be a magician getting caught. Somebody could be getting caught. A magician could be Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy Gemini though. 
Somebody's possibly getting caught doing moon magic as well. They got caught right in the act. Yep. Trying to bind someone. Ten of swords. Yep. I'm trying to tell you. Look. Tip, the moon. The ten of swords. They under judgment though. Yeah. So I feel like you could be in love with this empress energy. This could be the mother of your kids. Maybe you see a future with them. With the three of wands. You know somebody's your person. The ten of pentacles. You're trying to heal something with them. Your, their bloodline. Or something that has to do with like ancestors. Or um, an inheritance. Yeah. So somebody here is under judgment. From the ten of swords. Pisces. I feel like somebody gets caught in the act doing spell work. That you, you caught their ass red-handed. Somebody gets... Who got caught doing this spell work, Spirit Guys? Tell me. The star Aquarius. You caught an Aquarius doing spell work on you. Pisces. Wow. And it's like they try to make you believe that they, it wasn't them. What? Give me the magician. Who is this magician? This could be an Aquarius. Heavy on the Aquarius. The Eight of Wands, the Five of Swords. Pisces, you caught this Aquarius. You like, nah, you ain't slick. I know you're trying to play mind games. They're gonna this here go the paperwork here or something about text messages, something about paperwork, emails. You possibly caught somebody going to like a um a practitioner to, to do a binding spell or to have a family with you to a cubs somebody <laughs> eight of wands and a five of swords yeah just like you know somebody like playing mind games with you like man stop playing with me i'm not fucking stupid bro i am not stupid so pisces yeah you caught this person in the act so this could be confirmation for some of you okay this could be somebody here that's could have uh they could be into astrology or they could be like they could have a platform or somebody did something while they were naked something here with a naked body or with a naked photo or a body of water they did something or yeah what's the five of swords yep the magician i'm trying to tell you the magician and the ace of pentacles somebody wants you to lose or they could be manifesting for you to lose out on a blessing or a large token item here the magician and the ace of pentacles i feel like this magician could be the same or you could have multiple magicians there's multiple magicians here that's not rooting for you pisces period we got the six of swords this could be an aquarius or this could be a sagittarius Whew. who is this magician here who is this magician we got the death card it could be a scorpio somebody here wants you it's like okay pisces hold on now wait a minute the nine of cups in in reverse in the pay in the queen of swords somebody could be also like telling you that you're not getting something you're not getting this ace of pentacles or something here is ending is over with or somebody's trying to wait till somebody passes over or passes what's the magician in the death somebody's doing death magic yeah the knight of swords it's like they want this energy to like to like change something fast or they're going back to change something gemini energy scorpio what's this knight of swords the eight of swords yeah this could be like somebody trying to undo something unbinding um, work or they whatever they see is they're stuck with this this is a um a repetitive cycle that somebody keeps they keep doing this over and over and over and over again to bind an energy and i feel like what's the eight of swords mm. to have them to invest with them or to put in time and energy they do this over and over with their girlfriends with the three of cups yeah the ten of swords but i feel like something is ending abruptly with this third party Somebody here just not going out with his friends no more. I feel like it backfired or whatever. Pisces, damn. What's this Wheel of Fortune? King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants you to have a cycle of always needing money. If you are a King of Pentacles in reverse and you're trying to like, you know, you're trying to get your business and everything flowing and, and everything, I feel like the tables is going to turn in your favor if you are a masculine. Um... I'm also picking up somebody has been trying to play mind games with the Queen of Pentacles to get something from this energy. If this isn't this uh, a Capricorn that's trying to wreak havoc in your life. All right. Something here about some shoes. Somebody want an energy like to buy them shoes or whatever. And I'm getting like they're just not about to do that. Something about shoes. Somebody could like shoes. They could be they could love sneakers all right but i feel like whoever this is they're very like um they're going through an uh, an epiphany or they're having some type of sudden realization or awakening that somebody is just not about to settle 
they not about to settle here somebody's very com um comfortable in their energy with the temperance this could be a different this could be an earth angel that's getting justice here in the cycle closing out but yeah so the cycle is closing out yeah we have the seven of wands and somebody here is like blocking someone what's the seven of wands or some idea is they're blocking someone from getting victory or they're trying to block someone from getting some type of victory here but i'm getting they're still getting victory they're still they're still successful just like some crab in a barrel type of mentality like no i'm gonna block you from getting the six of wands you're not going to get victory or you're not going to get recognition um you're not going to you're, you're just not going to get any attention any or whatever what's the seven of wands six of wands this nine of cups but then come towards it what's the nine of cups The, the strength card okay so i'm getting somebody's playing games period somebody's playing games it's like oh i'm gonna block you then i want attention from you and then i'm gonna come in with my knight of cups i'm gonna come in and propose some type of offer then i'm gonna hold back this is all a control mechanism or somebody thinks that they can control you by like trying to hold back and persuade you it's not fucking working what's the strength card heavy leo energy what's the strength card yeah the the hermit yeah and then i'm gonna ghost you and i'm gonna leave you and i'm not i'm not gonna say nothing to you but then i'm gonna come back and tell you i'm in love with you and we could have the ten of cups or this is someone here that possibly have gotten caught with the family or somebody try to leave their empress on hang mode somebody's trying to leave their empress hanging or an empress is a lighting that it somebody has them in a third party or trying to put them in a third party and they've been caught the seven of cups the ace of cups I don't know. <laughs> Pisces, though. Let's see. What's this closing messages here for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising. Damn. Best friends in reverse. Somebody here, they friends don't have their back with this. Oh, damn. Look, we got heartbreak right here. They friends, maybe you realizing your friends don't have your back or your friends is full of shit with the best friends in reverse. So somebody here just doesn't want any friends, no new friends. They don't want no friends or whatever. Okay, we got confused man in reverse maybe this man is not confused about the spiritual planning that they need we have a thief damn what's this, what's going on with this thief that you need to watch your back from this person they're coming in to rob you of your physical or emotional being i feel like you're protected from that though somebody is coming to steal kill still and destroy yeah an illusion and they're coming in to make you believe a lie pisces they ain't really fucking with you like that for real i feel like you know about the lies too it's like you got proof and you got evidence you got proof that this person is is lying to you and it's like they keep lying to you like to your face they keep lying to you <laughs> give me the photo proof and evidence venting about you somebody's venting about something that you've seen Okay, or something that they seen. This could be insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under their eyes, eye bags. Somebody's venting about something that was seen. Or maybe somebody caught like a ghost on camera or there could have been some type of footage on camera and they, and they, they possibly need therapy for this. They shouldn't have been fucking around with the fuck around. So somebody need therapy because they seen a ghost. Look, they kept practicing divination. Look, divination abuser because they're mad this masculine is not into them. Yeah, boss daddy not into this person. Not really into her. She's in love with me. But they keep saying, oh, that they in love with me. Or there's a masculine here. Tell me about this. We have wild emotions. That has wild emotions for you, but they're acting fake. Mm -hmm. So we got divination abuser doing better without his ass so if somebody got a reading and they found out that a masculine or somebody's doing better without this masculine or a feminine and they got threatened by that somebody wants to feel needed intimidated threatened and bothered because they're not happy high off a of cloud high off of life and love in reverse they're threatened they're feeling bothered or intimidated because they're not happy in their relationship Pisces, that's what I got for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Until next time, bye.